welcome back to week five of the WBE. My name is Steph and I'm your coach for the Golden State Glaceons. And oh my goodness, today is going to be very special and quite interesting. This week, we are going up against Sierra and the Toronto Maple Muse. And this is a really spicy week because me and Sierra, we... We have this linked connection going on. That's actually very funny. So first and foremost, um, Sierra and I are kind of both in the same boat when it comes to our standings in the WBE. I think Sierra is a fantastic battler. I think she's gotten some terrible luck this season. And, you know, I've had my fair share of misplays and bad luck as well. But no matter who wins or loses today, somebody's streak is going to end. And that makes me really excited and really happy that I, I can't get mad because at the end of the day, one of us is walking away not being, you know, 0-4, and that's that's really cool to me. Um, it's also just really funny. Sierra is the other opponent who has a Cinderace, so this is gonna be kind of a mirror match in that sense, as well as she's also a fellow Canadian, and so there's a lot of like little parallels that make me really excited to fight Sierra this week. It's, you know, it's gonna be something, you know, win or lose, we're learning, we're having a good time. And so, yeah, I figured before we get started and connect with Sierra, I would just take you really quick through my team that I'm bringing uh, for today's battle. And of course, I made a separate team builder video. So if you want all the reasonings and all the damage calcs and all that fancy sort of stuff, go check that out. I'll probably have it either linked in the description down below or it'll be in a, in a card somewhere where you can go and check it out. But yeah, so our nicknames, our Pokemon we're bringing for this week, we're keeping to the fairy tale theme, except we're not going all female names this go around. So we've got Natsu, the Cinderace. Notice that interesting faint tech. Definitely go check out that team builder where you can see we've got some shenanigans going on. Um, we've got Snorlax, Guildarts, we've got Plu, the Quagsire, which again, maybe you missed our team builder video or you missed uh, when I did a trade on the website, we traded Zoe for Quagsire. So hopefully this will help us out a lot. Um, that that Dracozole is really scary. And so hopefully we have the tools to deal with it among the other threats on Sierra's team. Her team is really well built. So I'm kind of scared of that. We've got Quagsire. We've got Toxtricity. It only took five weeks. But we're finally bringing Toxtricity to a game. Hopefully this Choice Scarf Toxtricity will be what we need uh, to get ourselves a win here. We've got Evergreen, the Tangela, and we've got Elfman, the Rhydon. Oh my gosh, guys, I'm really excited for this week. And you know what they say, when you're really nervous, you just have to acknowledge, hey, I'm feeling really anxious. I kind of want to throw up right now. But we accept those feelings and we battle and strive to do our best regardless. I'm feeling my inner anime protagonist and I'm just really excited to fight Sierra. I also think it's really cool that Sierra and I um, started our VGC journeys around the same time I started in January. And I think Sierra started, a, was it two months ago now? I think her VGC journey. So we're both relatively newer to the scene. And I think Sierra has learned so, so quickly so much. And so I'm really excited to see how this goes. I'll probably cut us back in once we've connected with her. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoy the video. Be sure to like, uh, subscribe, and leave a comment to help the algorithm. And, you know, just let me know if you've been enjoying it because your comments really mean a lot. You guys will notice no Riolu. And it's because I really took it to heart. You guys were like, you know, Steph, the Cinderace Riolu stuff's really cool, but it's very easy to counter once you practice against it a little bit. So I took it to heart and we, we've got some spicy things in store. So, and I hope... I really hope she doesn't bring the ditto. Like, I don't think she's going to bring the ditto, but she might. We'll see. We'll see what happens because I don't really, I've never really played much against the ditto. So <laughs> we'll see how it goes. All right, friends, I'll see you on the other side. Okay, friends, we're back and we have the code to connect with Sierra. I'm excited and also really nervous. So we have a really Mimi link code. I'm very excited for this. So... 1337 was my contribution. It's no surprise by this point, honestly. And then we've got a 6969 for the second half. Nice. All right. Uh, let me connect here. Got this ready to go. Tell her that I'm searching. Okay. <gasps> here we go, friends. I'm really excited. If nothing else, we are going to make sure we have a really fun time. This WBE experience, you know... I know we've been losing a lot, and so I hope it hasn't come across like I am 
you know, more stress than having fun because at the end of the day, this has been such a blast. We've seen such crazy techs and combos. Honestly, leave it to Draft League to really let you be creative with what you do and how to counter team and different things like that. So I am really excited. We've connected with Sierra. Let's see what Sierra has brought. Good luck, have fun. Good luck, have fun. All right, so I will decide the rules. All right, battle series five rules. Let's go. All right, so make sure I don't bring the wrong team. So this is what we are bringing. Yes, our life orbs into race. Yep, 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 yep. All right, here we go. Make sure I take good notes. All right, let the battle begin. All right, let's see what we've got going on. I'm gonna make sure I uh, take good notes and we really gotta ask ourselves questions. Win con, what are our long-term win cons? Does that Cinderace have the safety goggles? I'm really curious about that. Okay, I'm also gonna make sure this is set. Okay, so the Bisharp came around, huh? Interesting. Bisharp is something we really didn't think was gonna come. Um, we do have the Pyro Ball and we also have our Snorlax to help deal with that. So, all right, this is quite fascinating here. Okay, the Talonflame is definitely here. So I think in the event that there's a Talonflame uh, uh, Cinderace Lee, we're gonna go with Cinderace Tox. We're gonna go with Tangela and Snorlax. I think this is how we wanna start our battle. We've got some time to think there. Yeah, there is the Blastoise. I really gotta pay attention. That's, it's probably safety goggles. Um, but we're gonna have to really see how this goes. So I think we just good luck, have fun. Uh, yeah, we gotta go with it. We have got to go with the flow. Oh my goodness. Okay. Oh, we're gonna keep our cool. As always, feel the good vibes. I'm just ready to have a good time. Also, Sierra, I love this trainer card. This is not our first time that we battled and I love it every single time. Just being on top of the Wailord like a champion. Oh, it's so good. Okay, pay attention to speed tier. So does Talonflame come out? Yes! Okay. All right, we see Talonflame and... Uh... Great go boy. All right, here's where we really surprised the heck out of Sierra. <laughs> um, do I want to Volt Switch here? Instead of Overdrive. Because it's the Drake Azult. Volt switch here. Okay. Okay, Drake is all Dynamaxes. Here we go. Big heckin' boy. Does a lot of damage for us, actually. She knows I'm Life Orb now. And there's the Volt Switch. <gasps> oh, I should have overdrived. Should have overdrived. Should have overdrived. It's okay. That was a low roll. That was a low roll. That sucks. I got greedy there. That's life orb, right? Okay. Uh, 
belly drum. Rage powder. That, I wish I just overdrived. That was so silly of me. Okay, we have to find out. Okay. Wisp on Snorlax means that Talonflame is safety goggles. Which is okay for us, I think. All right. Rage powder here. I think we're doing okay. I'm really sad that I didn't just overdrive that turn one. We might be burned, but we got this belly drum, so we're still plus three. And if there's something I learned from my practice is that plus three Snorlax is still a monster. Bulky heckin' boy. Okay, so we gotta be careful here. Because does the Drake Azult switch out into Trevenant? In which case that is going to suck kind of a lot. Or does she just let it go down to burn a turn? Okay, I'm going to not call it. I'm not going to overthink it. And I'm also going to lock us into some overdrive shenanigans. Overdrived, but that's okay. Tailwind's gone. drive here depending on what this item is if blastoise is faster or not we might actually be able to just win this game <gasps> oh it's so close miss 
Oh. Oh, we we're so close. We were so close. <sighs> okay. Play with the same rules. So Talon Flame has the safety goggles. Interesting. Crap, I'm so annoyed. Ooh, I'm not actually annoyed, but I, I'm upset with myself that I didn't just overdrive there. That would have been so, so good. Okay. All right, how do we now we have to think how does she adjust for that toxicity? Does she not bring the town flame at all? But that means the Cinderace doesn't have the life orb. Oh, I need to make sure I adjust properly. Okay, what happens if I go Snorlax Tangela, right? I think we still go with that. We were very, very close, but it was kind of a bulky. Do you think that, that must have been AV Blastoise, huh? It had to have been to not get knocked out like that. Okay. Okay, same leads again. You don't have a way to stop this lead, I don't think. All right, faint. Overdrive. Okay, we're gonna do the same thing again and overdrive is going to kill kill this thing, hopefully. And now we can stall out the Drake is all. I'm okay with that. Yeah. Okay, Talon Flame's gone. <laughs> Oh, that was a crit. Nice crit. Swap here. We take the trade, that's fine. Also, did she not bring Trevenant? She didn't, huh? So this is probably Life Orb Cinderace. Sleep Powder Dracozolt? And just do a bunch of chip damage. Yo, maybe we get a para. That would be wild. All right, here comes the surprise that we are, in fact, Focus Sash Tangela. Now, do we go before the Drake is all? I'm not fully sure. 
Oh. Okay, is that into toxicity? Nice. Do we get... Do we get... The sleep powder off? This will be so good for us. So now we get to Rage Powder and get a free Belly Drum. I told you guys that I would bring Snorlax's potential out. Okay, we're looking pretty good. We're forcing Cinderace. Okay. Into the Tangela. Cindery uses high jump kick. Now, I probably have to be really careful, huh? Nice. I'm gonna go for the protect here. Yeah. And hopefully high jump kick comes in. No, it was pyro ball, smart. I really wanted to bait out that high jump kick again. Ooh, man. It would be really cool if we could go to a game three. It would be so, so cool. Please, please give me my berry back. Please give me the berry back. Please give me the berry back. Gods, please, 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 berry. I don't think that was the berry. We really need a hustle miss. Oh, we were so close. Oh, man. Yeah, that's it. GG. GG. Oh, we were so close! GG. Oh my gosh. GG. We were so close. Wow, that was really freaking fast paced. That, those were like 10 minute each battle. Oh my gosh. That was... to game three seriously oh my gosh but that was 
that was wild listen we lost but i'm not even gonna lie that was a lot of fun that was really exhilarating oh my god we were so close it really sucked that uh man that first game i had so so wished that volt switch killed <laughs> i really was hoping that but yeah wow that was that was something i you know what i had a lot of fun with that and i'm just feeling really good because i was just really anxious about this um battle oh my gosh sierra gg that talks is terrifying i know right you wanna i'll ask sierra i'm asking sierra right now if she wants to jump on call so that we could just kind of talk about that match it was kind of wild how fast that went. My heart was like a roller coaster of emotions. And I think it's just because of how threatening uh, just all of our Pokemon were. That was so, so awesome. All right, we're going to jump on call with Sierra. <gasps> Hi, friend. Hello. Can you hear me? All I right? can hear you. Oh, my God. My heart <laughs> is racing so fast. That was like one of the most fat. Like that was the fastest pace game ever but it, it was so calculated at the same time like there were so many things going on in such a short amount of time how are you feeling what do you think i i have so many things to say but i'll, I'll let you talk because i'm just here just like freaking out that was like wild but i had a lot of fun <laughs> oh my gosh first thoughts that toxicity with that overdrive oh my gosh i was terrified like that's Oh, that's so, so, so scary. I just want to know, what was the Quagsire for? Oh, the Quagsire? So the Quagsire was just another way to answer Drakazolt because I realized looking at the team, I'm like, oh my God, Drakazolt can kind of wreck almost every single thing uh, on my team. So it was actually a Toxic Recover Quagsire. So just in the event, like Ooh. we needed to play the long game, like if I could stall out your Dynamax and yeah. You know what's crazy? Game one, I was kicking myself because I didn't realize Volt Switch wasn't a guarantee KO on the Talon Flame, and I was like, oh no, it's over. Like, <laughs> when you got that Tailwind up, I was like, I thought I was gonna get you with Volt Switch, and I think that that was a roll. Like, that must have been like a 10% or something to not KO, and so, oh, it was it was crazy. But yeah, that was, that was wild. Were you a Salt Vest Blastoise? Uh, no leftovers. Funny oh thing with the Talon Flame, actually, the original one it would have killed, but like an hour before, that's why I had to redo my whole team. Mm -hmm. I um, <laughs> I looked at the spreads. I was like, I don't need the speed spreads, and so I invested like a bunch into HP, so it'd be bulkier to like oh, hopefully that's live that. So <laughs> that's why it didn't KO. I swear we counted. it. We were like, it should KO. So what it didn't like, you should have seen my face being like, wait. <laughs> It didn't KO. Like this whole tech that we built for the salad play, it just didn't work. That's so funny. Oh, my. oh, I'm so excited to go watch that. Oh my gosh, that was so. Also, I really thought you were gonna bring the Trevenant, like riding that high from air, and I was like, Trevenant's gonna make its comeback. Like, and it actually in a lot of our practice matches, like your Trevenant was actually a problem, low key. So I, I was really surprised. So what was the like Bisharp set? I was like, you're not bringing Bisharp, and then you did. The Bisharp are running um Iron Head and Sucker Punch, and then Assurance protect um but basically jellicent was a huge issue because like my team is so just like aggressive mm -hmm. so if you like played the long game with jellicent with like the sap like the mm. sap sipper right um then fish harp in the back would get the boosts whereas last ways couldn't touch it so it was kind of like if I saw that you had the Jellison in the back or playing a trick room I could swap that in for the oh. blast ways, so I had like an, an answer to it oh that's so mm. cool like I cannot believe how fast paced that game went like i felt like there were like 300 iq plays happening at all times also there was some crazy rng what you had something miss and i was freaking out i already don't oh, remember that wing yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was i said something stupid and then all of a sudden the talent flame just misses and i'm like oh <laughs> I'm like, you know what? You're okay because you lived that first turn, but like that look on my face, I'm just like, really? Yeah. <laughs> this, this gonna be oh my gosh. What a fun set. That was wild. So I love just getting on call with people after just to kind of have that post reaction because I know my heart is still just like racing. And I told myself, <laughs> and 
yeah there were just some things i guess like you were a little bit more defensive than like we thought some of your spreads were gonna be because it's such a hyper offensive set like there were some things where i'm like oh like my snorlax will kill and then like it didn't or like it didn't do as much damage as i thought it was gonna do and i was like oh oh i see <laughs> i gotta do a little bit more here i'm my i tried to uh rock the snorlax this week because i've been bringing cinderace as my max like every other week so i said i'm gonna i'm gonna change it up be a little bit different this time and that was, that was a blast snorlax is so scary though oh my gosh like um i didn't man. i thought you were gonna rock the safety goggles on the cinderace so when it was on the talon flame i was like oh i see you <laughs> i see you with those safety <laughs> goggles <laughs> Yeah, we tried it out, but like against like Jellicent, like Jellicent Tangle lead and going into Trick Room mode was so scary. And I have abs as soon as I lose the like the speed or you get Trick Room, I'm just like absolutely just not doing so hot. So wow. we're like, you know what? Safety goggles, sound flame, my boy's going for it. Or if you're like setting up the um the Snorlax next to the Tangler, like that one turn, then I could Will O Wisp onto the Snorlax to like cut your damage in half, which right. is like huge as well so it was definitely kind of cheeky the talent flame didn't work so oh yeah <laughs> absolutely well thank you so much for the super fun battle and i said this in the beginning of my video i was gonna be happy no matter what because i was like one of us is walking out of here with like a better streak you know what i mean so i'm really happy like and <laughs> hopefully next week i could take mine but i'm like you know what this is like a win-win because i feel like both of us had like in, like terrible luck when it comes to certain games and so i'm i'm stoked i'm just i'm i'm stoked time for the canadians losing streak to end we yes. both got this yeah absolutely well thank you so much and of course guys if you're not following sierra please go follow her she's a lovely one of my favorite people and yeah thanks for taking the time i'm gonna wrap up our video here and yeah i will chat with you soon <gasps> see ya thank you okay bye, bye. <sighs> All right, friends, that was a blast. Honestly, I'm beaming because I I don't know. I really went into this game being like, I just want to play and have fun. And even though it was a loss and it was a pretty quick loss, I, I just feel really proud of myself. I feel like I played well, given everything that was going on in the match and the info that I know and what I didn't know. And so I'm feeling really good, friends. I, I genuinely, from the heart, I'm not discouraged by the losses. I'm really just motivated to keep learning. And so uh, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Hopefully we take our win next week. Uh, I don't even remember who we're facing for week six. Is it versus? It might be versus, but thank you guys so much for watching. I will catch all of you guys later.